today we will learn distributivity of multiplication over addition and subtraction of rational numbers just think nishant buys two identical bottles of juice and two identical chocolates from a shop if a juice bottle costs 22 rupees and chocolate costs 15 rupees what will be the total value of all the items think think let me tell you you can find it in two ways you can double this by adding the cost of a bottle of juice and cost of the chocolate or you can add them by finding the cost of two bottles of juice and the cost of two chocolates separately in both cases you will get the same result we can say that 2 multiplied by 22 plus 15 is equal to 2 multiplied by 22 plus 2 multiplied by 15 here the distribution of multiplication over addition is done multiplication can also be distributed over addition in rational numbers let us understand this with an example suppose we want to multiply 2 by 3 by minus 4 by 5 Plus seven by five. We will do it in this way, or we will do it in this way. We are getting the same result in both cases. So we can say that two by three multiplied by minus four by five plus seven by five is equal to two by three multiplied by minus four by five plus two by three multiplied by seven by five. In general, for any three rational numbers. A B C A multiplied by B plus C is equal to A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by C. This is called distributivity of multiplication over addition. Now pause this video, take your notebook and pen, and take three rational numbers on the notebook. Suppose the first rational number is A. Second is B and third is C. Now you can find the result by placing the values taken in the place of A B C in A multiplied by B minus C. Now you can find the result by placing the values taken in the place of A B C in A multiplied by B minus A multiplied by C. Did you get the same result in both cases? What does this tell you? Think, think. Sure, we can say that for any three rational numbers a, b, c, a multiplied by b minus c is equal to a multiplied by b minus a multiplied by c. We call this distributivity of multiplication over subtraction. Now you must have understood distributivity of multiplication over addition and subtraction. So today we have learned distributivity of multiplication over addition and subtraction of rational numbers. In the next video, we will see some examples related to them.